Now to a developing story. An imam murdered, shot in the head in Queens. Police say he and a friend were gunned down while they were on their way home from a local mosque. We feel really insecure and unsafe in a moment like this. It's really uh, threatening to us, uh, threatening to our future, threatening to our mobility in the neighborhood, and we are looking for the justice. And according to the Council on American-Islamic Relations, a passenger asked the driver about his background, about ISIS, and then mocked the Prophet Muhammad. They say the passenger then went into a house to get his wallet, but returned with a rifle and fired. At some point, according to authorities, Cheyenne and this man, 37-year-old Craig Tanbar and a woman he was with, got into an altercation. Shane walked by and she said, I don't like that guy. I'm like, which guy? And she said, that Iranian, I don't want to use the word that she said. George Hansel, who was there that night, says the two men stepped outside, where Tanbar allegedly stabbed Cheyenne in the torso. I was shooting pool and Shane came in the door and blood was coming out of his chest. And tonight, those worshiping inside are opening their arms and their hearts. Good evening, and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Dennis Harris. And I'm Denise DeCenzo. Federal prosecutors say the person responsible for the hate crime is actually a man who lived right next door. Well, Ted Hakey Jr. is accused of shooting up this mosque in Meriden, and uh, he was in court today facing a judge. Now, uh, as again, he's accused of shooting this mosque up just hours after the Paris attack. Fortunately, no one was here when this happened, and today, members here at this mosque say they forgive him. And this evening, we're getting new information about a man police say was murdered by his neighbor. Khalid Jabaro was shot and killed by Vernon Major in Tulsa Friday night, according to police. Now we're learning the victim's family has had trouble with their neighbor in the past. Jabaro's sister posted on Facebook today that they had protective orders against Major. She also accuses Major of hitting her mother with his car. She goes on to say that just 30 minutes before her brother was shot and killed, Police were at their home, but left, telling the family there was nothing they could do. The family says Major had been harassing them and calling them dirty Arabs. If you allow Muslims to be slaughtered in the streets in America, the only thing you are doing is taking America and her children backwards.